What is up you guys, it's Violet Taylor here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now I hope you're feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibe as you guys can see. Tonight's item shop will take us from Wednesday the 3rd of January into the early Thursday morning of the 4th of January. We are already four days into 2024, that's crazy. Anyway, start us off tonight. As you guys can see, last night we had the return of some Dragon Ball Z items. We had the return of some Gohan, Piccolo. We had Goku and Beerus, Vegeta and Bulma. We also have, obviously, Freezer and Cell, Goku Black. We didn't have any new jam tracks, but what we're getting tonight, three, two, one, let's go! We've got anything new for Thursday. Doesn't look like it. So anyway, what I was saying last night, we had the return of the Dragon Ball Z section of the item shop. We don't have any new jam tracks. Again, I know a lot of people are wanting new jam tracks, but they're coming eventually. Anyway, we still have your boy the weekend. We have Meet Your Roadie. So we have the return of the spark plug and we have what seems to be the brand new big lug base. So let's have a look at the spark plug skin. So to start us off, we have Scrap the Competition. Part of the Boneyard set, first introduced in OG season seven. We have an alternate, which is the ink style, which is very, very cool. With the fact that it gives her like some ripped jeans, like ripped jean overalls kind of thing. Moving us on to the spark plug Lego style, which looks very, very cool. We then have the back bling, which is the scrappy, barking out of the boneyard. Again, we've got two styles. We've got the default. And then we have the engine style. Moving us on to the brand new big base, or sorry, big lug base. We have just try to wrench this one away. Not bad, not bad. Love the design of it. This would be very, very unique um, if it was in real life. Anyway, moving this on to the signature series, we have the return of the Dream Bundle. Now, I have already covered this in its own Is It Worth It, worth it Bundle video, but it's a really, really cool animated uh, bundle. I want to show you guys the Dream Lego style because you guys will have seen the skin, but have you seen the Lego style yet? Moving us on to the return of, again, some more items that were with us uh, or have been with us before. We've got the Bash skin, the Legendary Wukong, the OG Red Knight. We've got some emotes. Moving us on to ba -ba -da -ba. We have the return of the Bondo, which I can never seem to remember or even see. But I know there's one there because I can see the outlines. But I'm sure I have covered it in its own Is It, is it Not Worth It for the video. Moving us on to the return of some more collaborations. We have the Futurama bundle. We have the return of a collaboration that hasn't been with us for a little bit now. We have Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair's bundle. Mwah! Really, really cool bundle. Really, really love this one. Oh, these ones, oh no, they won't have Lego styles yet because they've only just been brought back. Okay, fair enough. Moving us on to the rest of the item shop, we still have the Lamborghini Hurricane with us. I have already covered this in the current Easel, is it not worth it for the video, as well as the Return of the Easel bundle. Moving us on to the bottom now, we have some special offers and bundles. And then on the bottom here, we have 2023 Rewind. So, I don't know whether this is going to be a permanent thing, but this is like a little section of the item shop that I did know was coming. So it's going to be like some callback for last year. As you guys can see, we have the Phantom Meow Souls, which looks really, really cool. The description reads, a pernicious monster from a cursed shadow realm. Part of the Meow Strategy set, first introduced in chapter 4, season 4. Moving us onto the Lego style, which will be brand new. We have the Phantom Meow Souls, with a nice little tail there. We then have the Baffling, which is a unique one. We have the Ferocious Flame. I like the night. I mean, it's literally a light. I like it. So cool. Anyway, moving us on to the Champion Kyra. For those of you that didn't get a chance to buy one of the um, FNCS skins, you guys are getting a chance now. We have the Champion Kyra, never afraid to secure the crown. Now, I know they always said that the FNCS items would never return, but apparently they're breaking the rules. So anyway, we have the FNCF Champion Kyra. Moving us on to, of course, the brand new Lego style, which I really, really do love. Don't quote me, but I believe this is the first 
FNCS skin to have a Lego style that I've heard of. I mean, there might be some already, but I know that they're slowly trying to filter through all the skins to give them Lego styles. Anyway, moving us on to the Hannah skin. She does have a Lego style, but first we have Hannah, the greatest speed border in her reality. Part of the Downhill Demon set, first introduced in Chapter 4, Season 1. So as you guys can see, we have many forms for Hannah. So we've got the default here. We have the Racing Suit Hannah. We then have the Crash Tested Suit for Hannah, or Style for Hannah. Now, obviously, as you guys can see, it is reactive. We could also have the reactivity off, for those of you that don't really want the flames. But if we switch it back on, we have alternate colours. So, we have Lime as a default. We have Teal. We have White. We have Red. Orange. Yellow. Pink. And the last one is, of course, my personal favourite, Purple. Now, moving us on to the Lego style, we have Hannah. Again, it's cool, it's cool. I would have liked to have just added slightly a bit more, but it doesn't matter. Now, as you guys can see, the Hannah skin, the bottom right there, the description reads, the Hannah fires up with eliminations and is followed by trails of flames while moving. Moving us on to the back bling, we have the skull of Teleratos. The description reads, aerodynamically nightmare inducing. I mean, yeah. Imagine this is a trophy. Ooh, that would have got a way of heaviness. Anyway, moving us on to the rest of some items, we have the Skybound Longboard. So, we have the Skybound Longboard. Cruising altitude, well, sorry, cruising altitude will never be the same. Part of the Downhill Demon set. Now, this has got pretty much the same style. We've got Lime, Teal, White, Red, Orange, Yellow, Pink, and then of course, last but not least, we have Purple. Really, really cool. Moving us on to the Utility Snap Sword. Now, this doesn't have any styles, but it is really, really cool. It's like a giant um, thing, you know? Anyway, we have Break Out the Blade wherever you need it. Yeah, that's it. It's like a giant standing knife. Anyway, let's see this for animation. Ooh, that's got a hit shot. Anyway, moving us on to the last two items in tonight's item shot, we have the Red Hot Revenge Harvesting Tool. Too hot to handle. Part of the Renegade Flame set. Now, as you guys can see, it is literally a pickaxe mixed with an axe. That's this one I mentioned. Nice. Another nice little uh, party effect there. But last but not least, we have the Fire Interstate Glider. Go down in flames. There's a nice little animation there on the sails and the wings. So, yeah, guys, that was the item shot for tonight, taking us from the 3rd of January into the 4th of January and Thursday. So yeah, nice little section where we have the 2023 Rewind. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below why you like the video. Also let me know what is your favorite item and bundle from tonight's item shop. And are you guys appreciating the 2023 Rewind or are you looking for something else to return that you wanted from 2023? But anyway, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join the next kind of vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to push the bell notification and get no fun things upload. But more importantly, don't forget to stay the find me and I'll catch you in the rewind. Peace.